Hey everybody, how you doing? Mike Chavez here, sitting at my kitchen table. Uh, tonight, I want to do a little unboxing. Got a couple things here I'd like to share with you. Um, hopefully we'll be getting back on the river soon. Man. I want to get back out in that James River. There's some 50, 60 pound blue cats with my name on them. I'm telling you what, I'm ready for them. But for right now, what I got here is the July issue of Lucky Tackle Box. This particular one happens to be the panfish. Now, y'all know I love to catfish, but I still I love to panfish too. Uh, that first catfish box I got, I was not happy with. Um, main reason is most everything in there was for prepared boats, bait, uh, prepared baits dip baits, stink baits, uh, stuff like that, which I don't fish with. Um, I fish with fresh cut bait. Sometimes I'll fish with chicken breast. Chicken breast, believe it or not, is a very effective bait sometimes. But anyway, I do love my crappie and bluegill. So let's see what is in the July Lucky Tackle Box. So let's cut this thing open. I ain't even opened it yet. Some of you probably already know what's in it already. It's been a little while. So, what we got? Got some Tiger Balm pain relieving ointment. All right. Got your golden ticket. Always a good thing. If you can get on there uh, during your live broadcast, you might win something. Who knows? It's kind of like winning the lottery, you know what I mean? Alright, so, get your own Lucky Tackle Box Snapback Hat, $9.99 if y'all are interested in that. Uh, we got your magazine with Mark Daniels on the front. Alright, look at that later. So, card, first thing we got here, Bait Haze Dipping Dust, that must be this here. Bait Haze Dipping Dust. You know what? I'm going to have to put my eyeballs on for this. Bait Haze Dipping Dust Garlic Flavor. Says this is a $4.50 value. Okay, so a little... Nothing wrong with putting some scent on your baits. Tasty Beetle. One inch. Let's see what we got here. Where you at, Tasty Beetle? This must be the Tasty Beetle. This has got to be it. It's a nice little marabou crappie jig. I can dig it. I like crappie jigs. When I fish for bluegill or crappie, I don't usually use any uh, natural baits. I'll use jigs in a minute. Magic crappie eggs. All right, I'll tell you what. The crappie that laid those eggs that was a mean sum biscuit, you know what I'm saying? Barrel degradable garlic flavored protein eggs. All right, that was three dollars and nineteen cents. Of course, that tiny beetle said it was two ninety nine. All right then. So worm revival. That's this here. Oh man, I bet that'd be really good on some brim, some bluegill, shell crackers pumpkin seeds, whatnot. That looks pretty good. Alright, we have original jig. $1.99. That must be the original jig. That must not have been the tasty beetle. Let me kick let me move on. Yep, locals beetle. These must be the beetles. My bad. So these look like some little small jig bodies and like a watermelon color or a brown with speckles. That might be alright. Uh, Aberdeen hooks. That's some nice little, uh, nice little minnow hooks. That'll be alright. I usually don't fish with minnows sometimes. You know, I've been known to a long time ago. But if I fish for bluegill, crappie, 
stuff like that, you're going to find me with a jig. And last but not least, a Divinator Mini 3 inch at $9.99. Now this thing looks bad to the bone here. I don't know about panfish, but I'll bet you what. I'll bet you this thing could, here you go, I'll bet you this thing could catch some bass. This is $9.99. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Come here. So that's like a, almost like a beetle spin on steroids. I could deal with that. That looks like it'd be all right. So anything else in here? That's it for the July Lucky Tackle Box Panfish. So, back in the box. We'll add this stuff to our arsenal for bait fish. Not bait fish, I'm sorry, panfish. Oh, this little dust stuff might be all right. Instructions. I can't read that. Ain't enough light. Okay. <clears throat> now for today's special. My good friend Ted out in San Diego. Uh, Y'all might know him by Sea Dragon Angler on YouTube. The link is down below for sure. Uh, Ted uh, put a uh, giveaway where they, he made a. They made a custom. Him and his buddy made a custom crankbait. This is the box he sent it in all the way from San Diego, California. Matter of fact, I'm originally from California. I haven't lived there since the 90s, but I'll take that back. I haven't lived there since the 70s. I'm telling on myself now. So, let's see our custom crankbait. Those of you that follow Sea Dragon Anglers have seen this thing being made. If you haven't seen that video being made, links in the description. That is an awesome video. This man uh, builds these lures in his garage. This man is an artist. So they asked me what I wanted. I said, uh, Fire Tiger, two inch with rattles. And this is what they sent me. Let me undo these hooks so you can see the full effect. Oh man, look at this thing. Is that pretty or what? Can you get a good look at that? All hand painted, made from scratch. You guys are awesome. Ted and Eric, I think is his name. If I got your name wrong, I apologize. Uh, Y'all are awesome, man. I watched, I watched this thing. I have it saved, the video. But I'll put a link to the video below. Here, a nice little crank. I say, I don't, I don't bass fish a bunch, but I'll tell you what. Um, I got some collaborations coming up soon, I hope. I got one with uh, Dewey Cash. Um, I'm gonna get with Dewey. Here, I hope in the next couple weeks, uh, he fishes some lakes out here on the other side of the, uh, the other side of the James River, um, and I will definitely carry that with me. Uh, I, I wanted to frame it, but uh, Ted, Sea Dragon Angler, said, "Oh no, don't do that." He said, "We want you to use it and get it all tore up." So I just hope I don't lose it. I love, I love. I used to love crankbait fishing when I used to fish for bass a lot. So anyway. Um, thanks for watching y'all. Y'all go check out Ted and uh, Sea Dragon Angler and his buddy Eric. Uh, they are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope to get myself back on the water way before long. The weather's starting to moderate. I don't have a cover on my boat and uh, I don't do well. Uh, one of my sayings I've always said is uh, sitting out in an open boat with the sun beating down on my, on my melon is not really uh, my idea of fun you know what i mean so anyway thanks for watching y'all uh hit that subscribe button down there if you haven't done it i'm gonna have some giveaways coming up in the next couple of months uh hopefully i'm working on a, a major collaboration with a major youtuber i'm not going to say anything more than that right now but y'all need to stay tuned i'm sure every one of y'all know this guy um he is awesome and uh hopefully we're going to be able to uh, get on the water and do some gar fishing <laughs> so anyway that's all the all i'm gonna tell you about that right now just stay tuned for more details on that all right y'all thanks a lot hit that like button hit that subscribe button thanks a lot have a good night